here's the situation. So I'm doing a little test with two Raspberry Pis on basically the single switch. Um, this was kind of re-simulating the issue we had last year. Um, I was not convinced that the issue was with, uh, well, it could have been with Motion iOS. I don't think it's out, outside of the range of possibility for it to be Motion iOS. But I was, was, I was not convinced that Raspberry Pi Zeros could not be connected on the same network and be streaming at the same time. Um, here we have one Raspberry Pi set up with one of these uh, USB to Ethernet connectors, one of the cheap ones we found on Amazon. And we have another one here that's using um, a kind of a better, more fancy, probably a little more expensive. Uh, what are you actually? Cable ma matters. Cable matters. A USB to Ethernet connector with a, a connector here. This one actually has a micro connector. What I want to show you is this. So this first one with the the crappy or cheap Ethernet adapter. You can see here, really slow. But for the other one that actually has the better adapter, if you look over here on the upper left-hand side corner, you have this. This is actually streaming 1080p, but at JPEG quality of around about uh, 10, 10%, and the frame rate is 25. So that's the thing. Uh, the amount of uh, throughput right now is about 4.6 megabytes. Um, I think it's actually megabytes, not megabits. It's multiplied by eight and you get your megabits. So it's quite a bit. It's also because I'm just trying to t stress test this out. I'm um, also overclocked these guys. The ARM CPU is at one megahertz for both of them. The GPU memory is at 256 megabytes. Um, I did a couple of changes here and there. I'll send that out on the Slack. For the most part, uh, you can stream both of these guys over uh, over the same switch. There's no issue with that. The only true issue is the fact that this guy is too cheap, and I switched between these two, and regardless of the situation, even if they're alone and not streaming both, this guy seemed to be the issue in causing a lot of the latency. Um, so if we were using just these guys, we would never have gotten good latency with our, our camera solution. We had to get better, uh, less cheap, um, better uh, Ethernet to USB adapters. So my proposal would be uh, use a USB micro to female A connector over to this uh, to a USB Ethernet connector. Let's use that for everything, mostly because this guy's really annoying to work with. But yeah, um, and this is using UV4L, uh, which stands for like I think Universal Video for Linux. It's a little program you can install that does uh, JPEG streaming. You can also change all the different things from there. This little interface here. I mean, you can change things like the width, height, brightness, saturation, uh, sharpness, frame rate, quality, all that stuff like that. You know, like visual civilization. So things we can test out later on when we have the rover done. Yeah, that's pretty much the game plan. I think this honestly is going to be the best solution for what we're doing. Just look at that. You can actually see the text there. You see the code. See the algos. Right. So, so inside, sorry, no, so inside the, like the. Yeah, zoom it out a little bit so I can actually see the whole thing. So, I think this is good. I think this is the right path. So. Try it out.